Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Geek with Dev. I'm here today bringing you another Zoom interview. Uh, it seems to be catching on. I'm here joined today by Kevin L. Johnson. Do you like the L there or do you just prefer Kevin Johnson? I was wondering that. I like the L, like Samuel L. Jackson. Kevin yeah, L. Exactly. Johnson. Yeah. This is your first time joining me on the show. Um, and you also star in a very familiar show called Ozark. And congratulations, by the way, on season three. Thanks, man. Since this is uh, your first time on my show, I figured I'd let you uh, give yourself a little bit of an introduction. So that way, it's the, it's the best introduction you can possibly have. Who is Kevin L. Johnson? <laughs> uh, I grew up in uh, Lake Wiley, South Carolina, and uh, went to Clemson University. Went in as an English, or no, went in as a uh, computer science major, switched it up, went to an English major, um, minored in advertising, and then just to try something new, I decided to give acting a go, just, uh, you know, something to kind of break out of my show, kind of an introvert. Um, so I went to see uh, one of the big plays of the semester, which was a funny thing happened on the way. And I was just like, man, this is, this looks like a lot of fun. And I had seen, you know, plays before back in high school, but there was just something different about seeing it at college. So yeah, the next semester signed up for acting classes, um, auditioned for my first play, didn't get a role in it. It was called the Heidi Chronicles, but I got to work behind the scenes. Um, so I ran tech with, with the, the uh, that way I got to see how everything uh, kind of runs. Also yeah. met some really cool people. One of my best friends uh, I met through uh, roles. So I didn't get a role in the Heidi Chronicles. I, uh, I signed up for acting classes the next semester. And then I auditioned uh, for the next play, which was, um, it was like the big play of the semester again. And it was called Burial at Thebes. It's like a, it's a Greek, uh, Greek tragedy turned into a musical um and i got a role in that and uh i also did um henry v which was also at clemson university it was like a uh, campfire kind of setting the way we did it in a black box theater cool. got to play the role of bardolph um and we uh we actually did that play with a uh like a southern dialect because it's the closest thing um, they say to a Shakespearean dialect. So oh, that yeah. was, in, yeah. So that was interesting. We went to, uh, where did we go? Um, oh, Tangier Island, uh, to kind of, cause their, their, um, their dialect hasn't really been, um, messed with. Cause when you live in Tangier Island, people usually don't leave. So it's just, there's no influence on the, uh, on the dialect. So it's very similar to the Shakespearean dialect. Um, That's so cool. did that. Uh, and then I um, uh, played Willy Wonka at a community theater in Clemson. And wow. Yeah, so that was how I got started. Yeah. It's always like I find pretty inspiring when people do things like that to kind of... I, I go by the, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. They say seek discomfort. So I think that's really amazing that you did it to kind of get out of your shell. I mean, you're phenomenal in Ozark. Like you, you, you got some natural talent, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I just wanted to uh, ask you a question that you've probably already been asked uh, a million times, but just so, so my viewers get a, a kind of little rundown, short rundown. How did you actually go about getting the part of uh, Sam? Yeah, so um, they do a lot of taped auditions now. And they have been yeah. for quite some time. Um, and I got it through my, uh, my Southeast agent that I have. And yeah, the breakdown said um, real estate agent in the Ozarks, la uh, affable, um, loves his dog, yeah. eccentric. So that was, was that uh, was the breakdown for the role. When you when you were auditioning for the role, did they give you any more information about the dog, or did you just find that out when you got on set? I found that out uh, when we went to the t when we got the table read. Uh, Jason Bateman, he told me that uh, what dog it was going to be, and I think it was a uh, oh man, I can't remember what it was. Looks Pompeon? like a, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah I think that's what it was. Yeah, Pompey pretty sure. Air. Yeah, that's funny, man. I'm gonna go back before I go forward for a second. Acting school. Do you think that that going to acting school has um, a huge effect on on actors, or is it kind of the person? Um, Depending. I guess it kind of depends. I mean, a lot of people have different uh, thoughts on it. Um, I've I've seen some um, interviews where, you know, when you get out of, uh, you know, uh, drama, you, it, you're trying to basically uh, unteach everything <laughs> that you've learned. Um, but then, I mean, there's a lot of really, really good actors who have gone to like uh, Brown or Columbia or NYU. Um, so, I, I mean, I didn't, I mean, I went to Clemson University. They're not no. they're not like a huge, I mean, that's an architectural college. Uh, but I mean, they had a really good uh, drama program, even though I wasn't a major in the drama. I was an English major, but I kind of considered myself uh, majoring in performing arts because I was always there. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with, uh, you know, filling your head with all the knowledge that you can um, with, uh, you know, like uh, Strasburg and um, Uta Hagen and uh, all those big time, like acting uh, gurus and then Shakespeare, Chekhov, all that stuff. It's good to have all that knowledge for sure. I think that something that makes this show amazing and like what it is, besides like the eerie color to it, right? You get that. I think that the, the casting choices are are phenomenal and I think it gave a lot of actors who aren't completely known chances to get in and and do something amazing like some of those actors like the guy who played Buddy like he just did a, such a fantastic job and and you as well what's your relationship with the cast members do you guys all get along as a like a kind of a family or yeah I would I mean I know it's cliche but like when we're shooting like it's yeah it's a big family uh Jason is really really down to earth guy. Um, Laura Lenny, she's a sweetheart, badass on set, sweetheart oh, in real life. Um, oh God, yeah. Julia Garner, uh, she's a firecracker on, on the show, as you can see, and she's total sweetheart um, off the camera. Um, some of the new characters like Maya, Agent Maya Miller, um, she she's awesome we we stay in contact uh you know through twitter and instagram because this is her first like you know really big role and Mm -hmm. and i i welcomed her with like open arms like when i found out that she was uh like when she was uh gonna be on the show like i saw the deadline article that her and tom pelfrey who plays ben um who's an incredible incredible actor reminds me of like a young john malkovich um and uh yeah he's he's an awesome dude in real life too so nice uh just they're it's just a great family yeah was it uh was it kind of intimidating meeting jason i'm not going to focus on that too much but i just i'm I'm genuinely curious like i know you've probably been asked a lot but is it was it (laughs) no uh um since i met uh jason and laura at the table read, I kind of got the, um, the, uh, like the stardom kind of jitters out of the way. Um, so when we got on set, I was, I I felt like I was good to go, but you know, I mean, it's still Jason Bateman and it's still Laura Lenny and, you know, and now it's Julia Garner who's blowing up, uh, after this show, like it's been incredible. Her career has gone like, you know, yeah. Your character, is innocent for the most part um kind of kind of a relief for the crimey wimey that we get in the show so much like like a comical relief uh in a, in a horror movie but you know an innocent relief in a, in a crimey movie how do you feel like how the path that sam's going down and uh here's where i'm going to introduce spoilers uh how do you feel about the path he's going down this season i think it's uh i think it's interesting i mean you know they go from season one where he's working at a real estate office with his mom wendy comes out of nowhere um helps basically give him like a backbone and obviously that has a you know there are causes and effects to that you know 
losing my mom kind of, you know, if Wendy wasn't in the picture, my mom would probably still be there. Uh, so, you know, that's a negative, in a, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, but then without Wendy, I wouldn't have worked at the strip club in season two. Uh, and I wouldn't have met, you know, um, her. <laughs> I keep saying I because it's part yeah, of my... Uh, <laughs> fair enough. But like Sam, uh, you know, without Wendy, never would have met his uh, his girlfriend and mm-hmm. soon to be maybe wife. You know, and then uh, season three, Wendy comes calling again and says, hey, we need your help doing this, running a scam at the casino. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. Like he's, uh, yeah, he's somewhat innocent, but I don't think he's as naive as he used to be. I mean, I think he... Oh, definitely not. I think he knows a little bit of what's going on. And I think, uh, you know that that opens up all kinds of doors for season four like fbi informant uh you know does he does he try to get even deeper in the mix with uh marty and wendy and um you know who knows kind of my next question i was gonna ask do you think the the birds overall have more of a a positive or negative impact seems like you're like a negative eh? you know in season one they uh they're kind of like i mean they're the outsiders uh and they come in and disrupt uh you know the the world and the ozarks um and yeah the seediness was always there but i think uh the birds definitely you know brought that brought that to life brought that up you know what i mean um yeah it kind of depends on whose side you know it's like the whole twilight like which side were you on kind of deal you know are you with the birds are you with uh are you with ruth because by the end of season three you know they're going their separate ways so who's whose side uh I mean, no, there's no sides right and no sides wrong. Um, everybody's, <laughs> you know, um, a little seedy. So it just depends yeah. on who you want, which anti heroes you want to you want to root for. Where do you want Sam to go if there's a possibility for the for- a fourth season? Where would where would you rather see him go? I think FBI informant would be uh, would be interesting, you know, because of the whole fool me once shame on me or no fool me once shame on you is that it <laughs> fool me yeah, once fool shame me on once, me fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me right you get the idea i don't think he can be so naive uh you know throughout so i think he's got to he's got to stand up for himself at some point so why not season 4 um who knows maybe he goes to marty and wendy and says hey you know, I know what's going on. Cut me in. Let's let me, yeah. uh, you know, don't use think- me, but use me in a, you know, like I know what's going on. So let's, let's work together. Well, I think that would be kind of a, a, an interesting route for, for Sam to and know more of what's going on and see, he could turn into a complete badass. Like, I believe that you're like, just imagine seeing Sam just like all topped up. He's going to be the one that like gets the most, uh, what's, what's the word? Like, like blingy, he's gonna have chains. He's gonna wear shades. You know, he's gonna yeah. It's just completely transform. We also got a you know the proposal. I mean, we have to yeah figure out what's gonna happen with that. So if your mom, well, she wouldn't be alive. If your mom is a spirit somewhere, what do you think she thinks about you proposing with uh, her remains? Oh, I think she's okay with it. Remember in season Ooh. one, um, the uh, the funeral scene. Like it was, it was her idea. For the viewers at home who are gonna diss me, of course, nothing wrong with being an exotic dancer, but I, I just think that your mom's character probably, what would, you, what would you think about the fact that you're actually marrying an exotic dancer, someone who shows her, bo- like her body to as, as her job? Oh yeah, she wouldn't be okay with that. Yeah, I kind of no way. I, I think that's that's such a bold and kind of inspiring moment for your character because you know. He's, he's, he's like, it's like you've left the past behind you. You've left your mom behind you while still putting her on her, on her finger. <laughs> she's still, just, still yeah. quite, you know, she's still there a little bit. It's like, you're, yeah, you're the, you're the man now. And your mom's just like, I mean, I'm sure she'd be proud of you at the end of the day. Right. I was on Reddit actually a lot and your character is appreciated a lot by so many people. And it's just, such a, um, that's awesome. When you sit down and you watch a, a crime show, it's like, like, oh my gosh, so much crime. I think that having your character in it with all the crime stuff just kind of like contrasts. Sounding like a, a poet. 
it, they can, it can contrast and it just makes such a cool, a cool show in, in general, really. Yeah, he's an interesting character, I think. Um, and I'm glad people like him. I mean, that's, it's been great to get to play him. So who knows where yeah. it's going to go. But So you live, in, you live in North Carolina? Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. I, you said North Carolina somewhere. I don't remember where it was. Oh, well, I moved from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina to Atlanta. Oh. I was born in Savannah, Georgia, but um, I, I grew up in Lake Wiley, South Carolina. That's so awesome. I've, I have uh, cousins down in North Carolina, and the past few interviews I've done, it. everybody's been from North Carolina. Have you see, heard of the show Outer Banks at all? Yeah, I, I saw all that, yeah. That show was filmed in North uh, South Carolina, so it's just yeah. Just you interviewed uh, Nick uh, Nick Cirillo, right? Nick Cirillo, yeah. I was gonna mention that you posted on your story. Have you guys been uh, associate? Like, what is? I, I'm thinking of words. I don't know the word. <laughs> I know the words are like, I can't even. I don't know what the words are gone today for some reason for me as well. Right. Um, I've never actually met him, um, but uh, we also we have the same manager. Oh, cool. So. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of uh, like supporting each other, you know, on social media. I do that with a lot of actors too. I, I find it's you know, I That's mean, in good. this business, yeah, it's, in this business, it can be tough, especially if you don't have like a support system. It can, it can chew you up and spit you out if you don't watch out. So it's it's good to have people there, um, that are you know supporting you. Absolutely, yeah. Do you know anybody else from the show? I actually just interviewed um, Sheriff Shoop, or sorry, Deputy Shoop, the one the one cop that like steals the money at the beginning of the show. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, Cullen. Yeah, Cullen. Cullen, yeah. yeah. Um, he's uh, we we met like once, um, but we're we stay in contact on social media, and uh, yeah, he had a he had a good role. Did you see the whole season? Yeah, oh yeah, I watched that show. That was fantastic. So you know, you know a few of the people from that show. Did you ever try to audition for any roles? I never got an audition for it. No. Yeah. I was I was watching it, wondering like what I could have auditioned for. I mean, maybe yeah. uh, the only thing I can think of is um, like one of the bigger roles. Uh, I would say Cullen's role that he got would be maybe the thing that I could have got an audition for, but he did a great job of it. So yeah. Yeah, he did. Um, so how is quarantine treating you? How, are you watching a lot of movies or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Staying busy, doing a lot of binge watching. Uh, I'm all caught up on the show billions. Um, cool. let's see, I just finished season one of Bosch on Amazon, started season two. Um, saw all of Narcos Mexico season one and season two binge watched Arrested Development. I had never seen it. And that's, that's so uh, good. It's comedy gold. I don't know what took me so long, but it's yeah. Like, it's like not as dry comedy as The Office, but like dry right. enough, right? And um, Bateman's in that one too, right? He is, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I... That show isn't running anymore, right? I feel so stupid right now. No, it's uh, the last season was in 2018 on Netflix. Oh. So it could still come back maybe? possibly like there's a few shows like the walking dead that are coming back from movies and stuff if we dive into your character a bit more and like you get a cut into the birds business and then we see you as that character that badass character that i am vouching for do you think it would be cool to have like a whole episode devoted on sam's backstory oh yeah i'd, I'd definitely be down for that <laughs> i think any actor would yeah, right. I think that would be cool. We need to see that. That's what I'm putting out there right now. We got to see that. That would be so fantastic. My my the woman who plays my mom, Sharon, would love that. She could come back on the show. I'm sure. Yeah, she did a good <laughs> job too. She's she's awesome. She's, yeah, she's yeah. awesome. She was incredible. I favor I favor small roles because um I I'm an actor as well. Uh, just I'm a non-union actor and. Uh, you know, I, I get small roles and like when I'm looking at uh, little cheesy characters and shows like that, like I just, it's like, you know, someone's a great actor. You wish you could, you could see more of them. They got more show like screen time, but it's just like they add so much to the show without even doing much. And so her character was funny. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. She was fun to work with. Yeah. But uh, so you told us about some shows you watched. Are there any movies that you're like blew your mind? I've, I've watched a few. I watched Bill and Ted and I'm like, holy, holy crap. How have I never watched Bill and Ted? Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember that. Um, 
My, uh, I mean, my favorite movie of all time is Dog Day Afternoon with Al Pacino. Um, so I love his old stuff like Serpico, um, Kramer versus Kramer with Dustin Hoffman is one of my favorites. Blue Valentine with Ryan Gosling. Oh, there's just so many good movies. Especially if you have Amazon Prime and then you just continue to add channels and channels until like, I can't afford Prime anymore, honestly. Um, so I'm going to go to a few fan questions over here, if that's all right. I went on Reddit and I posted in the Ozark subreddit. I got a few questions from fans. Do you see yourself as Sam in the real world? In essence, like, are you as innocent as Sam? Which I don't think we need to know the details, but uh, a way to put it is like, do you, how do you relate with Sam? I wouldn't say I'm as innocent as Sam. I mean, I'm open, like, you know, to other people. Like, I sometimes it's difficult for me to see if people are using me, maybe. Uh, Sam has that um, issue, so that's something we could probably relate to. Um, I think I'm, I'm better with, you know, well, I mean, he's got a great girl on the show, but, uh, and I'm, I don't know. You better at smooth talking? <laughs> I think I'm a little better. I mean, it's not, it's not something that I work on, but you know, it's just like, yeah. And that's a good question. Do, do you wear those glasses full time? Uh, I wear contacts too. Um, oh, but, okay. you know, in quarantine, you know, rest your eyes, I think. So that's why I'm wearing my glasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, if you wore them full time, I guess that's something that you don't have in common with Sam. Um, yeah, his vision, his vision, I guess, is better than mine. <laughs> he's got better vision than yours. Better, uh, you've got better smooth talking than him. Right on. <laughs> Although Ozark is not a comedy, do you remember any moment during filming, uh, let's say, of season three for the for interview purposes, uh, that was extremely funny to film. You you couldn't stop laughing. Uh, who's and then uh, I have a follow up question after that. I, I was I had to be in the scene though, right? Is that um, I guess you had to be in the I scene have, or be or like or I don't be know, there. Be there. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a scene that I was in then. Um, I would say the proposal scene. That was uh, you know, there's it's it's got some humor to it, obviously with 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 my mom's ashes turned into a ring so yeah. yeah yeah so we for sure yeah we cut up a little bit in that yeah who is the most hilarious actor or actress uh on set or it can be a crew member but i think this person just wants to know the actor mm -hmm. hmm. crew members are always pretty funny you know yeah oh yeah uh man actor wise uh, you got to go with Jason, I think. I mean, he's just got this this dry sense of humor. Very, uh, it's you know, like Michael Bluth from Arrested Development. I, it's just yeah, it's just there. It's and it's just when, funny. When I think of uh, Jason, it's like poker face, like game face. Like the, the, the you could just he could just be standing there looking at like a tree, and I could just like. I could just laugh because his, his face just looks so serious all the time, right? He's just yeah. like, whenever he's talking to one of the, a cartel member, you know, his face is just like, I don't know. This is really hard to explain. I'm going to have to put a graphic up on screen for my viewers to see. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with you on that. Um, and then the, the last question I have here is, uh, what character would you most like to play if you weren't playing Sam? I would love to play uh, Ben from season three. That would be cool. such an incredible challenge as an actor. Uh, given what he would like, that material that he was given was just gold. If he doesn't get nominated for that role, something's wrong. Yeah, it would have been awesome to play the role of Ben, for sure. Yeah, he did a pretty good job. This is where I unfortunately end the video for you guys. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed it uh, at least a little bit. and. Uh, I'd love to have you back on when there's more uh, episodes, which hopefully can happen. Fingers crossed, man.